This is the hot pepper Tabasco phone, not a hot sauce from Metro by T-Mobile and this is variety stick. In this video, I'm gonna do unboxing, I'm gonna walk you through, show you the initial setup and explain everything you guys may need to know about this phone. Make sure to subscribe if you're having, give me a thumbs up and let's find out. And by the way, this phone available at any Metro by T-Mobile store for new customers or people want to switch their number from different provider for absolutely free. You just have to pay the monthly bill tax and activation. And if you want to upgrade or maybe downgrade because this is a flip phone, the phone will cost you $39 plus the tax and the fees. Now, Tabasco known as a company make hot sauce, not a phone. And this is the first phone I see from the same company. And this is a flip phone, means feature phone, basic phone. And if we look to the main specifications on the back of the box, we will see the main specification, but we're not gonna see anything mentioned about the camera. The phone will be 4G LTE, it's not a 5G. And the phone runs on Android, but it's gonna be a specific custom operating system it's called Android OSP. I'm going to check this later on on the video. The phone has 2000 milliamp battery. It should be removable and the phone charge with C type. You guys are not gonna expect a fast or quick charger because only 2000 milliamps, not huge uh, battery. This phone has eight gigabyte of internal storage and 1.5 gigabyte of RAM. And I believe this will be more than enough for a flip phone like this. First, let me start with the unboxing. First thing we're gonna see, which is the phone. Phone has camera here, but on the back, the phone never say anything about camera. And the phone, it feels so light that because the battery not inside, we will have secondary screen, camera, and we will have a place where you can charge the phone, use C-type. We have headphone jack, and this is the hinge. It seems to me okay. Let me sit this on the side just to look what else we will have on the box. Quick start guide. And USB-C cable. And 5 watt wall brick to charge the phone and uh, we should also have the battery now let me go back to the phone we need to remove the back which is you have to go from the corner and just pull this out and uh, we must be able to see a place where we can put the sim card which is you have to slide it in unfortunately i don't have the sim card right now and there is another place where you can add also a memory card and some imei number information so let me just grab the battery. Normally when you insert the battery, look where the connector is here and that should go on these pins. And the installation should be easy, has to be nice and flat. Then grab the back and snap the back in. Make sure everything will fit in the place. And then you can flip the phone, remove the screen protector and press hold this key to power on the device. Now just before we go any further I want you to have a look on the keyboard itself. It seems to me the buttons are big and you can see those easily and this is important for any flip phone. We'll have OK key which is the select key and we have some keys for notifications or select. We have back key and we have shortcut key for messages and this key right there to answer the phone and this is basically take you to the home and you can hang up the phone calls and you can also turn off the phone completely now let me go ahead and start the initial setup the phone will offer you two languages english and spanish go ahead and click on this key to go next and the phone is ready to use only in one button I've never seen something like this for the quick initial setup was so easy in this device now this phone also features two screen the first one which is the main screen 2.8 inches and the secondary screen where you can see the caller ID right there plus time and some information and if somebody call you all you have to do Check the number if you want to answer, flip the phone, and you're ready to go. If you have the phone on the open mode, all you have to do when you receive phone call to press the answer key, 
and you should be good to go. So always nice to see two screen for the flip phone. Now let me also walk you through the operating system and show you how it works. Uh, we will have some shortcuts right there. If you see here, we have contacts. If you wanna just go to the contacts right away, all you have to do, click this key right there, it should take you right away. Uh, also, we have another shortcut here for notification in case if you receive text message or email, all you have to do, just tap this key and that should take you right away to notification. Since the screen is not touched, you cannot use. Now, if we go to the menu by clicking OK key, we're going to see some applications and some settings. You can go to camera from here, contacts, call log or call history, and we have the messages and the settings. Now, if you just go to the settings here, we're going to be able to see uh, application manager, wireless network. So the phone has capability for Wi-Fi if you want. Uh, or you can use the LTE for internet browsing. But you realize the phone is very limited. It does not have a Google Play Store where you can download applications. Put that in your mind, the phone very simple and does not even offer maps. I've seen flip phones from Nokia offer GPS, uh, market, voice to text. One of the things also I trying to see if this phone has, unfortunately it doesn't. So if you go to your messages for instance, and trying to go here and when you want to type the message you have to use the keyboard which is in my opinion very difficult now in the TCL and the Nokia these flip phone use a Kia OS you will have the ability to do voice to text which is a lot more convenient than just typing the text message in the keyboard which is you have to press multiple times so this is seems to me very basic a flip phone doesn't offer so much things it has some tools like calendar and calculator and clock and uh, another app to clean the cache and that was very much it for that video so if you're looking for something really simple maybe you need to consider this a flip phone seems to me okay but there is some other alternatives in the market offer more features for basic flip phone like this that was very much it for that video. I wish you guys enjoy. Find this video helpful. If it did, thumbs up and subscribe for more here on Variety Stick. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll talk to you in the next video.